how things been, John? Things could be better, Harold. Things could be a whole lot better. Susan? Yeah. Well, I guess you could say she has something to do with it. I don't know. My head's just been all screwed up lately. Here, have another drink. just been feeling more and more out of place every day. I don't know. I can't remember things anymore. You know, little things. Susan and I have been off and on lately, and the baby never stops crying. I feel like a part of me has escaped. Uh, I don't know how to deal with things anymore. It's like I'm no longer in control of myself. Have you been seeing that doctor? Yeah. And the medication? Mm-hmm. Another whiskey. Greg had to take off early, so I, I filled in for him. You were out drinking again, weren't you? What? What are you talking about? Come here. You were, weren't you? Yeah, I was, Susan, if that's what you want to hear. Are you trying to kill yourself? Don't start, Susan. I just had a long day of work, all right? It happens. Yeah, bullshit. I can smell it on your breath. Why did you lie to me? Don't you remember everything the doctors told you about? The doctors don't know a damn thing. I think they can tell you how to stay alive, but they know nothing about living. Besides, a little drink every now and then never hurt anybody. Susan, I'm sorry. I've just been struggling lately, you know? Things have been tough at work these past few days, and... Do you forgive me? Honey, I'm your wife. Of course I forgive you. Just don't lie to me, okay? Things are gonna get better. How about a movie? Okay. Just let me change out of these clothes. Doing. He's out. I just gave him a shot. That's good. That's really good. 
What are you up to? I'll do some leftover work in the office. Accounting can be stressful work. So when are you going to break the news to him? About us. You know I can't do anything to upset him right now. I think this might upset him. What are you doing? I'm officially ending the marriage. Oh, you're so evil. <laughs> What did I tell you about smoking the house? Morning. Who's this? Did you forget? That's my brother Joe. He just flew in last night. I didn't know he was coming either, but when I heard he was in town, I asked him to stay with us. Now, you better get ready for work. You got a late start today. Hey, Mandy, uh, could you email me a copy of the Biltmore Bond? I seem to misplace the original. Okay. And there's also a call for me on line two, if you could just tell them I'm not available at the moment. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, just take a message. Thanks. John, these just came in. Looks like the same as yesterday. Anyways, enjoy. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. You feeling all right, sir? Better than ever. Could you leave me alone, please? Mr. Carver? Well, Molly. Greg told me he didn't seem well. I just wanted to see if you were all right. That's kind of you, but I'll be fine. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I'll be okay. Really. Okay, Mr. Carver. You take care of yourself. Should have seen those girls, Jonathan. They were something else. God, I really miss those days. Some of the best damn years of my life. Just came back from France. It's been tough on the wife. They sent her down to Paris to work on the HIV vaccine. I would have stayed with her, but I just got promotion here in LA. I'm trying to fly over and visit her as often as I can, though. So how are you and Susan? You know, Susan and I have been all right, I guess, but, um, Having a kid isn't easy. What line of work you say, Ren, again? Accounting. Really? Hmm. Same as me. You ever spend any time downtown? No, not that I can remember. Why? There's this place called the Bullpen. Rundown little place, no sign or anything. But I tell you, they have the best margaritas. You know, now that you mention it, I think I did go to a place like that once. Yeah? Yeah. And they had this uh, scruffy old bartender by the name of... Uh... George. George. That's right. You remember him. 
Who wouldn't? <laughs> God, he is quite a character. Yeah, George is a good guy. Shame what happened to him, though. What do you mean? He was killed last year. My God, how? Nobody knows. Police say some nut must have said over a feud they were having or something. Stabbed him to death. That's a shame. Crazy world. Mm-hmm. What? Lunchtime. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Well, looks like my presence has been requested. <laughs> I'll tell you. Man's job is never done. Ain't that the truth? Well, it was nice talking to you, Joe. Nice talking to you too, John. How long are you planning on staying? Actually, I booked myself a hotel room down in the village earlier this morning. Didn't want to put too much on your wall. No one position taken. Besides, I'll be going in now late at night. Business associates I need to catch up with. I understand. Well, see ya. Just uh, lock yourself out the back garage door. supposed to be here. 